What propaganda did you totally buy into only to realize later it was bullshit? Indestructible dog toys. I watched one dog tear a Kettler toy like a baboon ripping into an orange. He's the sweatheart, but all toys around him were disposable. Is your dog a wolf? I wonder at times. He's a black lab pit bull mix. A money-hungry lady suing McDonald's for millions for spilling coffee on herself. Story. This is a really great example that emo deeply affected American attitudes towards corporate responsibility. It was like 15 years before I heard about how gruesome her injuries were. And at the time people were up in arms about frivolous lawsuits against innocent multinational conglomerates. That the only way to achieve success in life is to study hard, get top grades, and go to university and study something like law or medicine. Plenty of people I know have achieved success and happiness without top university education. I also believe the idea that the career you study for is for life. Asterisk asterisk edit to add. Asterisk asterisk. I meant that you don't need to have to have a top degree from a top university. Lots of people choose TAFE like I did. I think it's called technical college in the US. Study something you enjoy, as long as you can still make a living from it. I was all set to study law myself, but I realized that I wasn't that passionate about it. I took some time off to figure out what I wanted to do. I'm 33, got my HS diploma when I was 19, didn't go to college. I own a house and a car. I have my dream job. I make close to six figures. There's a lot of roads to go down. I'll say one thing is for sure in the near future. Employers will care more about experience than education. I'll hire someone who is familiar with the work over someone who wrote papers on unrelated topics for a few years. That most people achieve success in their lives during their 20s. This is bullshit in the grander scheme of things. Lots of super talented people end up becoming successful in their late 30s, 40s, and even 50s. The same goes for the concept of if you want to get good at something, you have to start super young, which is sometimes work, but a lot of people can actually get good at a skill in older ages. You can learn the piano in your 30s and get really good at it, but you're not going to be doing concerts or anything. But it doesn't mean you're not good, great, exceptional at it. 30 year old here. Everything from 1 to 29 is a prologue. Life starts at 30. And if you're thinking about killing yourself, you'd be killing the wrong person. Don't do it. It gets better. D. Reddit is an interesting website where you can share your thoughts and opinions. And then people abuse the downvote system because they don't share the same opinion even though there's a skewed that carrots give you exceptional night vision i later found out that that particular belief became widely accepted due to a british propaganda campaign from world war ii designed to hide the invention of radar from the germans they claimed that the reason their air force pilots were so effective at night was due to them being fed carrots to increase their night vision it was so effective that people still tout that particular benefit of carrots years after the war ended. Anti-vax. At one point I was completely sold on the whole, how can you inject infants with dangerous chemicals shit. Then I read up on the actual science and realized how uninformed I was. Key word was it's okay to change your opinion in light of new information. Trivial but I bought into the lie that the more you cut hair, the more it grows. I've been shaving my beard for years hoping to get a nice thick bush to no avail. I just have to accept that nature played me in deal with my patchy face hair. GMOs are dangerous for your health. It's true, my uncle ate some GMOs and he got hit by a bus. Not only is the idea that they're bad bullshit, the global food supply would be more expensive less plentiful, and poor parts of the world would experience more frequent, prolonged shortages of crucial items if they weren't for GMOs. The anti-drug campaigns we all had to listen to as a kid. Smoking the devil's lettuce will make you a meth addict within hours. Just you wait. I'm still waiting. Nancy, 
those things made it worse because a kid tries a joint on a dare or something and finds out it didn't kill him and then he questions what else was lied about in those anti-drug ads. Being honest would be a much better approach because teens are not stupid and will respect you for being straight with them is your South Park did it best. San, I've been told a lot of things about pot, but I've come to find out a lot of those things aren't true. So I don't know what to believe, Randy. Well, Stan, the truth is marijuana probably isn't gonna make you kill people. And it most likely isn't gonna fund terrorism. But, well, son, pot makes you feel fine with being bored. And it's when you're bored that you should be learning some new skill or discovering some new science or being creative. If you smoke pot you may grow up to find out that you aren't good at anything. That different sections of the tongue are responsible for sensing different flavors. Now I can tell you more. Your nose is responsible to lots of flavors you sense for different food. Your toughest can only sense basic tastes like sweet, sour etc. That's why everything tastes the same when you have a cold. That I need a creative career to be happy. It breaks my heart to admit I spent years grinding for a chance at an interesting career. And didn't get very far. And worse I was okay with being underpaid for the experience. Now I kinda wish I took on a regular, well-paying job and used my free time to travel and pursue my own passion projects. Kony 2012 Oh fuck, you voted for him too? Yay, I thought he would have made a fantastic president of the World Bank. That I need to look young forever. Women are sold so many skin care products and cosmetic procedures to stay looking young. Then I realized, it's not really affecting my health if I just age naturally so I can just not give a shit and live my life unafraid of wrinkles if I want to. All you gotta do is feel young. Stay healthy and active and you'll age beautifully. Canada is real, I can't believe I thought there was a mass above the US. You'd totally be able to see it when you looked up if it was real. I paid for LimeWire I live with that shame every moment of my life. Mate. American exceptionalism. America really is a great place. You read about the exceptions because people like to look for the bad stuff. That being said, there are a lot of great places in the world. Every place has some good and some places have a lot of good. I have traveled a lot in emo. Every place I have been has a lot to be proud of. Yes. I am talking to you Canada, Mexico, Peru, France, UK, Germany, Morocco, Honduras, Switzerland, Spain, Portugal, Italy, Austria, Hungary, Slovakia, Czech Republic, Australia, China, Japan, Thailand, Netherlands, Belgium, Luxembourg and Denmark. Love all of you. Had a great time in your countries. Can't wait to visit the places I haven't been I am sure you two are great. I blame watching a very goofy movie when I was young. The Patriot Act, or rather the notion of the nothing to hide, nothing to fear approach to privacy rights. The Patriot Act and all the post 9-11 shit pisses me off to no end. Real infringement of rights and freedom but where were all these quarantine protesters then? It is seemingly something that all sides of the aisle can get along with. Though I've seen those on the extreme right and extreme left in favor of it. But that no politician is willing to risk the political suicide over. 9-1-1 conspiracy shit. While I wouldn't be surprised if good evidence was revealed the government had a hand in it and I am confident the government's perpetual war in response to it is immoral and money-driven. I don't really think there is reliable enough evidence to make a claim on it being a false flag or not. Santa Claus. Ultimate communist propaganda. Work your ass off year round until you're made to hand deliver product to anyone who believes in. The system is your fucking Antarctican propagandists. Asterisk Arctican. I totally feel for the whole communism as a concept isn't a bad idea bullshit when I was in school. Then I realized that something wasn't adding up when you considered why it has been tried so many 
times and never succeeded. That was when I finally understood the true reason communism always fails. People are assholes and communism can't work if even a single person is anything other than completely selfless. That's just not in human nature. Sorry, maybe heaven is communist, but not earth. Communism, socialism are perfect systems on paper, but they will never work because people are selfish. The only real version of communism you'll see work on earth is in some of the still uncivilized groups that live in some of the remote places on earth, like some of the sand people in southern Africa. There, you need to share everything, from work to food to shelter, just to survive. Same reason, libertarianism is a horrible idea. People are selfish, markets are selfish, industries are selfish. This pandemic is enough proof that people don't make good choices when given more liberty. Ayn Rand objective is monsieur. The fact that you've realized puts you miles ahead of Ted Cruz. Congratulations. Free and fair elections in American politics. I have a feeling this coming election is gonna be the most openly fucked with election yet. I hate election time but I DK if I have it in me to make it through this one. Just go vote, lol. It won't kill you, and it only takes 5 minutes. Unless you live on a college campus or low income area while Bernie Sanders is on the ballot. Then, it takes hours. And, then when you complain about it taking literally hours to cast a fucking vote. People call you lazy. College is required to be successful. Absolutely untrue. Dare. Tumblr feminist monsieur I spent my childhood on the internet and I think it led me to believe in a lot of shitty things. It's easy to say, oh it's just sick people online. Unfortunately, modern society has leaned towards them now. By Tumblr feminism, do you mean like super vocal self-validation and pride in victimhood status? I'm only vaguely familiar with Tumblr. Yes, that and of course the other extremes the many genders, the microaggression, etc. Not gonna lie, some actually do make sense. I myself wouldn't have known I was non-binary without them. But sometimes, there's a lot of bias that comes into it. Ah, oh, okay. I would say, my views were shaped in a similar way. I became friends with a lot of sex-positive feminists and a few more militant types, and was generally down with their views but over time started to recognize that, while I sympathize with the ideals of those worldviews, some people get more out of stirring up embers than actually supporting or serving the actual cause. E.g. they'd rather antagonize a troll or present their argument in an uncompromising or hypocritical light, than actually try to make their view palatable for someone with a different perspective. Edit. I should add that I think that every ideological mindset has people who care more about arguing than advancing the discussion. Yeah, anything can be carried to the extreme. As a liberal I can't stand ultra far left people any more than I can stand hardcore conservatives. Ultra liberals bother me more as they make the rest of us look fucking insane. Agreed. In the 80s and 90s. As a black woman, it was hard to be taken seriously when I was discriminated against. Because you had all these butt hurt people crying, racism. Anytime a white person sneezed wrong. Nowadays, trans people are being murdered. Hell, just trying to use the goddamn bathroom is your dot but aren't being taken seriously because all these Tumblr kids be like. I'm a non-sexual pangendered brony femme demi-boy furry and you're misgendering me as an attack. Helicopter constitutes an act of violence. Quote, Iraq had WMDS. I believed it well before Bush came into office. I would read in the paper how even during the Clinton era that Saddam would block actively block weapon inspectors. To me, that sounded like he was hiding something. I still believed it months after the invasion. Then the truth started coming out. Curveball, was some taxi driver that made shit up? Cheney outed a CIA agent because she found out that Iraq wasn't going for nuclear material and it went against their narrative. It would be one thing if they have bad intel. But this was intentionally falsified intel to justify their war. 
for a little bit there I was listening to Ben Shapiro and got wrapped up in all those Ben Shapiro thug life compilations on YouTube where he owned social justice warriors. Then one day I realized that Ben's just a fast-talking rich kid who speaks from a position of privilege. Who is he to judge these college kids? He jumped from high school to college, to Harvard, to Goodwin Proctor. He's never had to struggle financially like so many in this country have. What the fuck does he know about the real world? Quote, Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.